are in Morocco on a bodyboarding trip for 360 magazine. We've got a crew of nine of us, uh, including videographers, photographers, writers and bodyboarders, just over here trying to score some waves and enough to put an article together and try and get some decent footage of British bodyboarding. Steve Hall, uh, Lord Atherton, representing the juniors. Hi, I'm Steve Hall, uh, 17 years old, and I'm from Cornwall. I'm Lloyd Atherton, I'm 15, and I'm from Bournemouth in Dorset. Aidan Salmon, Aaron Dinham, Brooke Mason. So we've got quite an age spread, from the younger ones to the um, older ones. <laughs> Brooke is a, um, is a bodyboarder from down in Penzance, sort of Port Lavin area. He doesn't really surf necessarily like a British bodyboarder does. He surfs like somebody who's travelled a lot and um, has that really nice upright forward style. I've travelled around quite a bit. For the last 12 winters I've been away trying to, you know, just find some good bodyboarding waves and travel around and see some different cultures and that. So yeah, I've been around a little bit. Aaron, um, yeah, really nice bloke from Saltash. Loves his right-handers, doesn't love his left-handers as much, but does a bit of drop knee on them. The best surf for me has been a right-hand wedge that we found. I love right-hand wedges, and uh, it's absolutely perfect for me and for bodyboarding. Uh, my name's Aidan Salmon, I'm 29 years old, and I hail from Geraldton, Western Australia. No surprise packages from Aiden. Rips on drop knee, good rips on prone, and he's um, yeah, always a pleasure to have around. Well, Steve is the most promising bodyboarder that we've got coming out of Britain at the moment. He's definitely uh, got a good head on his shoulders as well, really focused on every aspect of bodyboarding. We've been coaching him for about three or four years now and it's been great to watch his progression. It's, like, every surf is just improving. Winning British Nationals, I think, got me chosen to come on the trip. I think he's got a lot of potential. You can see he's super hungry, chucks in all the moves. Yeah, Lloyd's from Bournemouth, representing the South Coast. He's been getting a bit of coaching offers for a while. Now he's finding his style a little bit more, did a tasty invert. Daily routine has basically been get up at about six half past. We spent a lot of time sort of driving around, fair, fair sort of portion faffing, I'd say, sort of between breaks, sitting around waiting for the tides and just just trying to find the right spot. <laughs> the breakfasts are amazing. Just a massive spread every morning. Pretty much is like a little buffet. You can eat as much as you want. Towards the last few days of the trip, Rob met up with one of his old friends called Rahi. We got to see them and his mates surf quite a lot and it was so good. A lot of talented guys, like I say, wiry sort of, sort of thin little fellas that just seem to rip. They basically showed us how to surf and surf their spots, which is patronising. <laughs> We might take shots throughout the day and when we get back to Surf and Rock where we're staying, he, he gives us a chance to look through all, all the shots of the day. I've never been on a trip with Rob before, so um, yeah, I was sort of interested to see him. So I've seen good, good photos of him in the past and obviously he's a big sort of figurehead in the sport. 
for uh, someone who's been bodyboarding as long as he has, he is still very much an absolute frother. After this trip, I'd definitely come back to Morocco. It's such a good place, like not just the surf, like the culture, like everything about it. It's just an experience. Amazing. Yeah, I had a really good time. We had all the ingredients. We had sunshine all week. We had some really fun waves, good crew, which always makes a trip. And yeah, it, yeah, it, was, a, it was a really good time. We scored a few reefs and we scored a few wedges and a few beaches and, you know, can't complain at all. Flies piss me off. <laughs> Flies are a bit of a bitch here. Happened upon Owen Pye's passport picture. <laughs> I mean, the only thing it reminded me of was when I was watching Crime Watch and saw the paedophile register on there. <laughs> um, because I wouldn't have let him in my country. That's all I'm saying. <laughs>